2 million encounters and releases under your watch. So not including the Title 42 expulsions, not including violent criminals, of those 2 million plus that you've encountered and released, how many have you told to go home? Um, uh, Congressman, uh, individuals who are released are placed in immigration enforcement proceedings under the law where they can make their claim for relief. If their claim for relief is not satisfied, they are subject to removal from the United right. States. Right. Subject to removal sounds very different than actually removed. So I'm not interested in the process. I'm not interested in what people are subject to. Two million people encountered and released, not the expulsions under Title 42, not the criminals. How many of those people have you deported? So, uh, Congressman, a few points. Number one. Just how many of the people? I just want to know how many. It's just I a may. number. Congressman, uh, we are dealing with a completely broken immigration system. I get system. it. I, no, no, no. Mr. Secretary, I'm not going to let you burn my five minutes. Do you know the answer? Do you know the number of people out of that two million that you've removed that aren't criminals? I do know that okay. we have removed more aggravated felons. Right. I'm not asking about them. You, you, I, I've caveated that away. Because here's what I'm, I'm sort of getting and what your non-responsiveness is demonstrating. The Mayorkas doctrine is this. If you show up at the border and get released into the country, if you don't commit a specific aggravated felony, which, by the way, doesn't include a lot of assault and battery, doesn't include a lot of bad domestic violence, but if you're not one of the people who commit those crimes, you get to stay forever. Is, is that a fair characterization of your doctrine? No, that is false. Then tell me how many you're sending home. No, that is false. Okay, well, they, but you don't know the number of how many you've sent home. Here's another number. Two point, I'm sorry, 1.2 million people today have been through your entire process, right? They've been through what you call a removal proceeding is just an amnesty dance. Because after the 1.2 million people get an order from the judge saying that they don't have a basis to be here, you still don't remove them. Like, what's your plan to remove those people? Congressman, that is false. Okay, wh how many of them then? Just Cong give me the number. Congressman, in this country, in this country, there are between 11 and 12 million. Right, but I'm asking about a subset that you won't send home. And the reason you're smirking about it and the reason you won't answer my question is because everybody gets the joke. And the sad thing is it's not just us here. It's the cartels who get the joke, too. And so now what you've done to execute this Mayorkas doctrine where so long as you don't commit a crime, you get to stay here and burden our hospitals, burden our schools, burden our social services, burden our jails. You've sent the message to the cartels and then you've taken this app and you've digitized illegal immigration and you've scaled it to the moon. Like this app that you've got everybody downloading is like the Disney fast pass into the country, never to be subject to actual removal, just removal proceedings as you call them. That app doesn't do any search of their criminal history in their home country, does it? Congressman, I, I disagree with everything you have said. Well, I, I'm sure, but just to answer the question, does the app that you are out there promoting do any search of people's criminal history in their home country? Congressman, Customs and Border Protection screens and vets individuals whom they encounter. Your early. app, it either has the functionality to test their criminal history in their home country or it doesn't. By the way, if it did, you'd have already told me. It doesn't. And then the other epic failure of this that's empowered the cartels is that in these processing centers you've set up in other countries to just wave them all in at a rapid pace, the, you've had to shut them down in Nuevo Laredo because the cartels were standing outside extorting people. Isn't that right? Congressman, that is false. Oh, really? So why did you shut down that facility in Nuevo Congressman, Laredo? Congressman, the point of safe, orderly, and lawful pathways is to reduce the number of encounters at our southwest border. But, but wait I, a second. You've, you, you, what, you've just shifted those encounters. Because right now, for the first time in modern history, more people are showing up at the ports of entry than running through some bush in Yuma, Arizona. And the reason they're showing up at the ports of entry is because you've got the turnstile open. Where so long as they've gone and downloaded this app, you just let them in. I got one final question for you, and it's an important one. Is Mexico an ally in this fight against illegal immigration? Uh, yes, it is. So, I mean, it's hilarious and somewhat troubling that you say that, because like, I'm looking at the El Chapo trial, where President Nieto took a $100 million bribe from the Sinaloa cartel. Do you think that the subsequent presidents following Nieto weren't offered a bribe by the cartel or didn't take the bribe? Congressman, I, I disagree with everything you have said. Uh, right, right but, but you can disagree all you want, but what you won't provide is any number. 
And when, when you sit there and just kind of ostensibly disagree without any facts, it shows people what the real gig is. The Mexican government is captive to the cartels. They are doing the bidding of the cartels. And based on your response today, so are you.